Hello guys, welcome back to our video. Today we are, this is the first video today, I will upload another one, but today we are uh, looking, well I am looking to show you how to build up your economy. I am playing Persia, I was thinking, that, you know, I would like to play France, oops, man, wait a second for the load, or the US, but they weren't available and uh, I'm not gonna find anything uh anything like that so i think persia is uh, good enough for iran um well i mean you have a, a living economy but let me just tell you why you need an, an economy and industry um uh, first thing you can conquer as much land as you want we could take out iraq we could take out afghanistan it doesn't matter it is gonna make us stronger, but it is uh, not that much stronger and it's gonna destroy a lot of our armies. Uh, it comes at a cost of resources and, uh, you know, we would need to produce a lot of stuff. Well, that's that could be a problem if you just take them out and one of your neighbors, for example, Turkey right now, could attack us and we are basically dead. Not only because Persia is weaker than Turkey, but if even they were at the same level, we would lose a lot of troops to Iraq. And we have more, um, more uh, land and more resources, it wouldn't really matter. We wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to make use of these. Uh, the second uh, thing why it would why it wouldn't be worth it because these are core provinces. When you con you are, you control a province that is not your core. It uh, gives you 70, 75% less resources, which is insane. That is, the resor that is the reason I don't encourage building up um, cities that aren't cores or provinces, unless they make a lot of stuff anyway. Uh, that's why you need to develop your mainland, your homeland. Um, and uh, you should be focused on protecting yourself while keeping a, an army and for sure building up one just to keep yourself safe. Um, I would get a little bit of a, a little bit of an army. Not, I mean, we could get a little bit to protect ourselves against uh, the British Raj, but also, for example, Turkey. Uh, while we are building up our industry and our economy, economy is our economy is very useful. Uh, if you have enough resources and if you have a very strong industry, you can pump out so much that it is insane. This is the reason why you, you would want that. Also, if you have a lot of resources, then um, you can trade and earn a lot of money to buy resources that you need right because you can see this here uh, if you build a, an economy and industry uh, very well you may not even need to trade for that but you can be very rich if you just normally do that well the USA declared war on me I don't care um, so you the first thing you want to do this is uh, you know only for today we aren't playing today so it doesn't matter you know what, I may play, you know, uh, try to get Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, a thing you want is to build up your provinces that make uh, materials, resources. Uh, you know, you can check around which one makes the most. Oh, I also encourage, you know, building up um, cities before provinces, even if they make a little bit less. But, for example, look at our resources. This is probably quite enough. Like, that is a good amount of rare materials we are making. And it could be enough. Maybe you can, um, uh, you know, build some, a little bit of infrastructure. Like, one level 1 infrastructure. Uh, it's not much, but, you know, that's it. We have... Let's look at this. We are pretty low on goods. We have the Tehran and... Uh, Bandarabas, so we build those up for sure. We wanna get goods, we wanna get food as well. You can see these. We are making 
quite a lot from these although you can see that we are losing a lot if you are losing too much food or oil if you don't have enough you can check here click here and you do, it will show you this if you aren't building any militias or infantry you can turn these off and you'll see that we will start making quite a bit more like we got like 20s 25 26 from just this per hour by the way so that is quite a lot for uh, for example if you don't have enough oil uh, you can turn off this I would definitely encourage this uh, if you are not building a fleet of course and if you are playing a naval power such as Japan or probably even the UK I haven't played the UK yet but probably yes because they have a lot and they are actually I think barely making or losing oil at the start so if you turn that off it will benefit you a lot um, second thing you wanna probably build up a resource that is pretty rare uh, for now it seems like every single one of these is pretty pretty cheap uh, but you want uh, the more expensive ones are rare materials oil and even metal but I would definitely encourage building up these something that we definitely want right now and we are not producing enough of it's goods so let's just go to Tehran and build infrastructure 2 we are probably going to build infrastructure 3 as well and we are going to build this here as well we also need infrastructure to make tanks so this is gonna benefit us okay uh, we are making a little bit uh, well not, in, not enough food so we are gonna build this up as well you gotta watch your resources but I think investing a lot of your resources at the point that you cannot make an army it can be good and can grow your economy insanely and industry insanely fast although you gotta be sure that you have friends and neighbors that won't attack you because if they do you could be fucked um, that's why you wanna want an army because if you don't have an army you are uh, yeah you're just gonna fall Okay, um, metal is also clearly a problem here, especially if you're gonna be, be building a tank army, uh, which could be beneficial here. Um, then I would uh, definitely watch the metal, but it's not only that, it's uh, not only tanks, industry, building up industrial complexes costs a lot of metal. So let's go ahead and do that. We go to resource, we only make in one province which is unfortunate but we build that up as much as possible we can also build this if you want I am gonna go ahead and do that I guess we use all of our resources right now I don't know do what you want but we can do a little bit of this as well uh, this go ahead uh, the, the if you wanna have be a strong nation and have a huge industry you need infrastructure and you need to produce a lot of resources that is also that is the reason why you do this we also build this here you definitely want an industry after you build this or even you can build it at the start as well but you probably ramp up the uh, speed that you uh, build up an industry after you build some infrastructure so we are building in a lot of our cities yeah probably in all of them uh, you definitely need an industry uh, because if you have too many resources then uh, even if you sell them what is the money gonna be for you're not spending it further on your country on your military on anything so you need to spend it somehow uh, the resources as you know mostly because the the you know uh, less resources you sell to the market the less money you have and you know you just profit yourself a lot and you need an industry the bigger the industry gets the faster you can build a lot of a lot of units and um, when you have a lot of units well you are you have a huge military and you can probably um, uh, win a lot of wars and you know uh, for I, I I think Iran Persia has quite a bit of potential you you have a bunch of resources you need to build them up though you build them up and you can literally you know take some of your neighbors out you can become very strong but I would recommend taking out your neighbors or you know just attacking somebody 
after you have built an economy and an industry. Um, if you had any time lag money, uh, you will probably have enough resources if you build up your uh, your eco your your economy your economy your infrastructure. Um, you will probably have enough to sell, so you will be able to get money. So if you have you if you find yourself in a tr tricky situation, having a good economy on the homeland is very very important. Only after that you attack other people, or you know maybe you can balance it out so you can attack and um, build up your economy very fast as uh, at the same time. Although I uh, for something like Iran, Persia you don't have you have to start with many units which. Persia doesn't start with so this is not gonna really work you know if you think about it anyway um, that's what you wanna do and then you can invade uh, other nations uh, but there there is one thing you gotta think of you know uh, there is an there's another map where, where there are like a hundred nations yeah a hundred playable nations and uh, People really, really attack, um, you know, other countries fast. Thankfully, you all start with the same amount of units, so this shouldn't really be a problem. Focus on both, and you start with a lot of resource, so focus on both building up your economy and industry, and then, um, and also at the same time, you can invade somebody, but make sure that you don't get fucked by one of your neighbors. That's what you wanna do, and um, as I said, uh, you 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 know, if you look at we, we don't have tanks, but 19 hours that can be lowered to uh, like a lot less. I don't know how much less actually, uh, but it can be lowered by a fuck ton. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you can build up. You know, I'm playing Sweden right now on this exact map. Not very often, but. Uh, what I do is build up my industry first, that's what I'm doing right now, and um, I'm only building infrastructure, not industry, economy, and I am start, I'm gonna start to sell it. First, what I'm doing is uh, selling, uh, not selling, uh, building up infrastructure and then taking the resources I made, the additional resources and the resources in made before, uh, it has been upgraded and putting it back into the infrastructure. This way, after some time, we will start making a lot, a lot of resources and we will build up our country fully and we can fu fully, fully invest into our industry and into our military. At that time, I think we are basically extremely strong, even as Sweden, while not being a big country, uh, you know, 52 provinces, you can still be insanely strong so you know you even a small country can be strong if played correctly um that is what i mean so you know you do stuff well like something like the soviets or germany they start with a lot of units uh units are you know units cost a lot to keep up for example, I am using 390 per day, but count that my military is extremely small. The Soviets or the Germans have both a hundred units, and it is it, that is a lot. You you gotta feed that, you gotta feed it, and for something like Germany, you simply don't have enough. For example, oil for that to keep. Well, you can keep all your tanks running, but you don't have much else to focus on your economy. That is the reason you are fucked. If you split Poland with the Soviets, the Soviets get uh, the city that produces oil. You need to get oil fast. And the more you expand, the... For example, this isn't gonna work. It's not much in for Denmark, which is a core province. You need to build up Hanover as much as possible, as quick as possible. Uh, and that is a fact. Even with that, you will not be able to keep up everything and building up your economy. Thankfully, your economy and industry is good at the start, but you still definitely want to, you know, build up more. Definitely, you definitely want to rush it. You want to take Poland and you want to go through here, try to take pairs so you can get this, even if it doesn't make much. 
Europe doesn't have that much uh, oil as far as I've seen. So we will need to either invade the Soviets early or, you know, something else. The Soviets do have, but it's all the way here, which doesn't actually make much for now. Uh, but you can have, you can see here and here, this is already pretty insane. Uh, the Caucasus don't have oil, you know, surprisingly. Not much, like even Yugoslavia, Greece uh, or Romania are lacking oil. I don't know about Romania, but I think you slightly are. France definitely is, and they are lacking food as well. So you want to be careful. Um... You know, even if uh, they do have like Algiers here and you know stuff like that. So you know, you 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 as Germany, uh, it can be it, it can be tough. You 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 need to build up your homeland, and that can be very difficult because all of these scores actually, even uh, Czechia. Um. So yeah, uh, your economy is very important. Take care of it, build it up, and. Uh, make sure to defend yourself make sure that nobody can attack you easily at least and so you can be ready because you build up an economy and industry you can pump out a lot of units very fast and with that you can defend yourself and even maybe win the war so if they haven't built up theirs so thank you that, that is that is gonna be it uh thank you so much for watching there's also another video coming in a few hours Thank you so much for watching and as always, goodbye.